Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to stage five. Start now. Oh, this is this stage here is like sort of kind of partially a puzzle stage. As you've seen, I was supposed to well, I should say I'm aiming to get that key on the left side, so just go through the left door first. It'll be quite handy, and I would probably want your fighting power just because I see you there, and that'll probably be handy with its swiftness. And now I'm gonna go the other way. We got some Waddle D genies. I don't know their actual name though. I didn't take the time to look up all these new enemies, but I think those are like ultra cute Waddle Ds. <laughs> then again, any Waddle D is ridiculously cute, as is the nature of Waddle D himself. And I just seen an energy sphere over there. I hope I won't miss that. Um, be on the lookout for a door on the ground between these shifting ice blocks here. Those waddle leaves are just hanging out there. They're looking so cute, I'm not going to harm them in the slightest. I feel that would be pretty mean to do, so I'm not going to. <laughs> um, I am still looking for a door. Oh, and I need to take this cannon through it as well, so I better rush on ahead. And do not fall on the floor because that will ruin my chances. Well, ruin your chances too. Okay, that's the door I'm looking for. Now this has got to move out of the way quickly because I have to use this to break through these things as fast as I can. And I'm going to be standing right here just to let them arc and go down there. Yes! That's where that energy sphere was. I don't need that anymore, so I can just drop it. No time for that one up on my trek through there. Obviously, just to be sure I would be able to get it. Watch out for getting squished there. That's a nice little trap they set up. But they give you plenty of time to react to it anyway. And, I sh oh, I should have taken Fire Guy, shouldn't I? I'm taking Fire Guy. I don't, I don't trust. Because <laughs> up to this point, the last enemy that I've met, I mean, the last enemy... Ow! Uh, in, like, a room was the enemy that I needed to get. So that's why I'm not taking any chances. You can get that star down there if you want to, if you want to risk it, but I'm not going to. Yeah, this is definitely a good idea to take the firepower through there. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to find this door. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I probably have to go down here. Oh my goodness, oh my. <laughs> I always take the harder path. The harder path is typically the way to go in a Kirby game. Oh my god, this is going to get blocked off, isn't it? Well, that worked out very nicely. <laughs> and we got a barrel cannon here. I'm surprised I did that properly on my first run. But I guess it's not that much of a big deal. Because all I would be able to do is just, like, go through this door, like, re return, re re retrace my steps, and then break right through this ice and go through that door again. You know, restart the area. So it gives you as many chances as you want to to get through that. Wait, wait, where, which way was the key? I, I didn't pay attention. I'm going to try this way, because I see the Scarfies there. Phantom Scarfies, I should say, were guarding the way. Yep, I was correct. Because once I grab this key, they're all going to come after me as soon as I enter this door. Run, 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 run. And... Wah! Delightful. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did, because this is going very smoothly, and there isn't really, like, any room for exploration. Uh, there's a blue candle here. It's not not any different than ouch, and not any different than the typical candles that you come across. I really hope I didn't need that. No, I don't. I, I need that. <laughs> I know I need the candle, but I I, I would like you instead, actually. Um, just want to carefully make my way across the jumps and look out for snowmen. Switch. And. Yeah, that's definitely something I wanted to do there. I, I was wondering if I was like supposed to look ahead before I randomly grab the switch. Oh, and you can use candles to break through these ice walls. Or, of course, the firepower if you have it. Okay, I'm going to take this through the door. And... What? How do I... Oh, I see. You're supposed to take ice guy, ice guy here. And then freeze another ice guy there. Hit the switch. Otherwise, you'd have to uh, trek through the spikes and take a bunch of hits. Voila! That's number three. Moving on. Oh, I knew... No, oh, there's another can candle. I was going to say, I no longer have the candle that I need. And I bet you I need to hit this. Actually, I probably should have looked ahead again. <laughs> I'm hitting things blindly, and that's not a good thing to do in Kirby games, where you are easily trapped into things if you don't look ahead. 
That's bad playing on my part, but this seems to be working out pretty nicely. So I'm not going to complain. Okay, I'm going to see. Oh, candle automatically burnt out. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh my. Run, 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 run. They're going to be in pursuit of me because they're stuck in that little alcove otherwise. I have to go in here. I probably should get this first. And see if I can dodge. Oh, okay, that worked out well. Because it takes them a little while to transform into their psycho state. And uh, there we go. It's the end of the stage. That went very, very well. How well did this go, however? Oh! I'm inches away from grabbing onto that number one cloud and pulling myself up. But alas, my timing just will not get me there. Dun dun dun! Boss stage is next. This boss I have a lot of trouble with. I just cannot get his patterns down, so this might actually take me a couple tries. Here we go! Uh, what what should I be using here? Ninja... F I don't... Probably the fighter power-up, because I can do stuff like that, and also do uppercuts against this boss, so that's just what I'm going to go with here. This is the boss. Goriath. Attack ow. Attack him as much as you possibly can. As fast as you possibly can. Because he does a lot of swift attacks, got a lot of swift moves. And you do not want to be on the receiving end of them if you can. And when he gets to half health, he will get into a super mode there. I forgot about that attack entirely when he does his little punch charge thing. And the fighter power-up, if you didn't notice, has very strong invincibility frames, or I should say very long invincibility frames to the point that you can actually be inside of him, inside of him as you are ending your attack. So that's why I chose the fighter power-up as well when you do that uppercut. Very, very handy to have. And then he's gonna change to another arena as you go along the place as well, which is going to, oh my god, Kamehameha! <laughs> Oh shoot, I lost my power because I didn't press down the keypad. Dang it, I'm gonna have to deal with him the normal way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some stars. Gonna need some stars. Eh, yeah! Need the other. Ah, I got a little too close. Need the other star. Oh, I lost the star. Being way too reckless now. I'm being too hasty. Must pay attention to his patterns. And he's gonna. Yeah, do that. Oh shoot, I lost my opportunity. Or not. Oh, just a little more. Just a little more! Oh, jeez! <laughs> Why? Why did I have to miss just by a little bit? And as you can see, those icicles, things, they... Oh, I missed twice in a row! Not gonna miss this time. Not gonna miss this time. I missed that time! <laughs> oh, dear. Ow! There we go. I guess that wasn't that bad, except I took a lot of damage. I played a pretty sloppy. Oh well, it was still a successful run in the long run. Woo! And uh, yeah, that's the end of World 4. Never gets old. <laughs> Lego Star Cutter, do your thing. Did the ship really need that to function? That, that looks more aesthetic than anything. <laughs> Just like a little decor on the front there. Needless to say, he's happy regardless. Yeah, it's, it's the emblem. That's that's pretty... Uh... Or is that Embium? Excuse me. Because that looked like an eye, actually. It's uh, kind of hard to tell on the... Uh... TV here because I'm using um, composite cables and not the component ones and a lot of things if you didn't notice in this walkthrough are like really flickery 
at times. That's just how it works when you're looking at high detail areas on composite cables. Anyway, back to the world map we go. I'm gonna do one more stage in this part. World 5 is open up, and it's also gonna bridge a gap between World 1 and World 4. I mean, uh, World 1 and World 5 here because it's a... Uh, uh, it just makes it easier to go around in a circle like this than it was before, but it's not really that bad anyway, regardless. Uh, I'm just sort of saying that I made, made a shortcut, basically. Anyway, Naughty Noon, this is the Sky World of sorts. Pretty weird name, too, I must say. Stage 1 opens immediately, and we're going inside. Ah. Uh... Oh, that's another close-up camera angle that would make gameplay next to impossible. <laughs> but of course, it's just there to be dynamic. Do I want the parasol? Well, I don't have any powers anyway, so I probably should take something at least. If it's giving me something, I'll probably need it up ahead. I'll probably either need it to go down or go up, or... Yeah, it is just to go up, or maybe not. <laughs> As I said, I really like the uh, changes they did to the parasol to make it a lot better. Whoa! Oh my, I didn't, I didn't think I'd do that actually. I thought I was going to slide across the, the blocks there. Um, I don't think... Oh my. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to say, I don't think I need the cutter guy for anything. I could be wrong though, and I'm probably going to have to go back for him. It's just that I got the cutter power at the moment, and I... Oh, it's the whip that I need for this room, I think. Ow. Oh, I actually thought I, actually thought I was going to take a hit there. That's why I said ow. I was saying ow for nothing. So, okay, so I want to do this and then do that. Voila. And kind of lost my umbrella for just the one-up, so it's kind of wasteful. <laughs> oh, wing power-up. Did not show this off yet. I definitely want to show this. This was one of my favorite powers in Kirby Superstar. It's, it's just so swift. There's just so many neat things that you can do with it. You got some charges, you got some backflips and stuff like that when you grab onto things. Do I want to see what's up here? Oh, it's just a slice of cake. I, I suppose a slice of cake is worth it. I mean, everyone likes cake. Come on now. And if you don't like a certain kind of cake, there's always a different kind of cake for you. Cheesecake, chocolate cake, vanilla, white cake. You just cannot go wrong with it. And I think what I'm going to be doing here actually is keeping my wing power up because I'm not actually sure what I need. Because I see I can take the umbrella back over there if I need to later on. I guess the umbrella would have been handy here. But still, not really, because I was just able to cut right through the threads those spiders had. Carefully make my way up. Looking out for the critters. What is up here? More cake. That was the chocolate variety. Mmm, delicious. Now, what do I want to take here? It looks like I have a choice. Oh, my... Well, actually, I think... The wing... I'm gonna have to keep the wing power up, because I just, like... Yeah, do that all the way through here. And hopefully not lose my power. I gotta pay attention to the little ice cloudy ice guys. Whatever around here. That are coming out of the clouds above. I just don't want to miss anything. And... Oh, there's another wing guy if I need him. So I guess I would be okay anyway. So I got a choice of, like, three or four different kinds of powers there. <laughs> Which one to choose, I don't know. Um, what is through here? I couldn't have got here without some sort of blade. Oh, that's another energy, energy sphere. Delightful! And I guess a star if you're into that sort of thing, but I don't really care much for them. I'm into the 100%ing thing. I'm not here to gain a crap load of lives. I just want to clear out these stages swiftly and neatly. Um, that ice cream cone, I don't know how it's not melting. Maybe it's like below zero up above the clouds. I know it gets colder, you know, the further you get away from Earth's atmosphere. So that could be the explanation for this. I bet I need that. Because it's just hinting. And I don't like controlling this. <laughs> it's just so erratic. Gimme. I need that, I'm sure. <laughs> For something. Unless... I won't need it, I'm not sure. Wait, what is this? i seen that secret, you can't fool me. Uh, this does get me through things pretty swiftly. Then again, the bird power-up would be... Or wing power-up, excuse me, would get me through that as well. 
Um, what else is... Ah, I should have been using this. <laughs> Just keep holding the button to climb upwards, if you don't recall. Wait, what, what's this? What is this? See not... Ah, another energy sphere. Woohoo! That's the third. And I believe the fourth one is in a really odd spot that I missed the first time, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, the first time that I played through this game. Uh, oh my. <laughs> no, I did not. I'm thinking of something else. Or maybe I'm not. I could be wrong. We'll see. Um, I just wanted them. Oh, shoot. I lost my wing. I really hope I didn't need that. <laughs> Unless there's another wing guy coming up ahead. Oh, there's a whip guy. I might need him. Because he's kind of in an odd place. Because I was kind of hard to get him if I wasn't swift enough. It's usually the hardest to get powers that are the most worthwhile getting, basically. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I did miss it. This, this was the one that I did miss on my first run. Because you see, what I did was I I swiftly... Oh, sh no! I, I think I did that, and that was the issue that I had, was I didn't make it in time to get to... I mean, to avoid that other one hitting that bomb block and what happened was exactly that it blocked me away from getting the energy sphere and now i'm going to have to kill myself in some way to restart this area please tell me i can kill myself somewhere that would be very nice thank you <laughs> now i'm just gonna rush through the area and get to that third i mean the fourth and final energy sphere excuse me and I don't think I'm going to be cutting here, because it doesn't really take all that long to get back over there, because I'd like to show the whole run properly, basically, so I'm not going to do any cuts. And here's the final area coming up. As I said, didn't take long at all. <laughs> go, 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 go. Just follow that head. I mean, follow that forward, excuse me. And stay as close to it as you possibly can, that helps as well, you know, to give you as much time as you possibly need. Just get through there, voila! And... there's the end. Woo! <sighs> Goal game! Gonna get a one, gonna get a one! Ugh! Gonna get a one, gonna get a one! Dang it, I didn't get a one! <laughs> I cannot psych myself up enough to get a one. Anyway, that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. When we continue, Nutty Noon. That's still a silly name. <laughs>